Hi Pisces, Siberia from Path Two Cards, and we're going to get general energies coming towards you. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, and North Node. To connect further with me, Pisces, please message Siberia88 at gmail.com. We have expectation in reverse. So because you've let go of expectations, I feel like there's alignment coming in. This energy is transmutable as well. The 28th, something could have happened. The 28th through the 3rd. Or something is happening the 28th through the 3rd of January. I feel like you're looking the other way too. Journey card. You could have left a situation, a marriage, Pisces. And going into the new year, you've let go of baggage. You have two threes in your reading. Threes. Three, three is a master number. I feel like you're working on yourself. For others of you, you could just be working, um, grinding and putting in overtime here. You're pouring that great fortune into yourself. The number 10 is here. The number 3 is here. The number 28 is here. Somebody could have an F or a W in their name. Somebody could have a C or an M in their name. The concern card comes out for overall energy. So I feel like somebody just made a decision here to move forward. And you're kind of concerned about the outcome. Give me yes or no cards for Pisces here. Pisces energy. You have no, let go of the past and focus on the future. Growing up, leaving home, Scorpio energy and bad luck and upheaval. This could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Taurus or a Leo. There's something about external forces. Remember, we're living in a, a, a an astral plane, 3D here, where other people have free will and choice. You can't control everything. So there may have there may have been a disruption and this is the stone external forces from others. Solar plexus is here. Heart chakra is here. Give me um, give me one more yes or no please. Yes or no. So it goes from two no's. Give me yes or no. To no. So you have lots of options, choices. There's free will here. You're not stuck. Somebody could be dreaming. Don't be in your head too much because that's how you uh, create reality. Sometimes you don't want to see or feel if you overthink here. What's coming in for Pisces in love? January 2024. How is Pisces starting off? First week of January. Look. Don't you know that you are a shooting star? Somebody could have Aries in their um, chart. Something is passing through. Something is an enterprising, brilliant, passionate... Um, type of energy coming in. You have 8-8 eight, eight in your reading. Give me love energy for January. Somebody is really trying to connect with the law of attraction and be a creative force, even in their hurt. Pisces, the number 71 is here. Aries, Aries energy and Scorpio energy. Aries and Scorpio, Pisces. You could have been born in 87, 71. You could be 34 years old. You don't have to be. Be committed to yourself. Be an unconquerable force. If nobody else is going to be faithful to you, then why not be faithful to yourself during this time? Somebody could be going through a spiritual awakening, and those hurt. Um, but you're really learning the law of one. What's coming in for money for Pisces for January? Thank you. Now, Pisces, you're going to have to be a, a trendsetter here. I feel like somebody's coming out clean on the other side, male or female. You could be creative, but also be ruthless. Pisces, you're very good looking. There's attributes about you that somebody can't get over. Somebody can't get over that. Be energetic. Be an entrepreneur. And be strong-willed at this time. There's pride, recognition. This abundance in reverse is you not realizing that you hold the keys. You hold the bag. You are plenty full. And you're going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor once you come into this healing energy. The number 68 is here. The number 16 is here. So remember, I'm saying 16 is a karmic number. So remember, you're a diamond. You're a creative force. But if you're thinking karmic thoughts and creating realities that... Um, are not conducive to what you're manifesting, then you'll you'll continue to create karmic energy around you. Um, and I, I can literally see you building that in your head. You're trying to build abundance and merriment. So stick with that storyline. You could also be dealing with a Virgo. I'm hearing that song by Ludacris, Stand Up. I'm hearing that song by Heart, Listen to Your Heart. What else? What's coming in? Ooh, you're forfeiting something. I feel like you're ghosting something here, Pisces. 
Cancerian energy, and then there's your new beginning, and it's coming in rapidly. After loss, death, bereavement, and giving something up, you've defeated Capricorn energy. You're getting blind will justice. Somebody could be moving into a new home. Aries energy is about going after it. Um, somebody could be having a baby this year. Spirit energy is here. So to connect further with me, thank you for those of you that have liked, shared, donated, and subscribed. Please message Siberia88 at gmail.com. Thanks, Pisces.